Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Wet Shaving with Angelo. I'm Angelo, and today's going to be a good day and a good shave, and a fantastic one at that. And what I mean by that is I got some fantastic products that I'm going to be using on today's video. First off, we're going to start with the blade, but I'll get to the razor last, as you'll see, and you'll understand why I'm going to the razor last for a reason. Blade of choice, modern day Wilkinson sword blade made by... The Wilkinson Sword Company in Germany. It's a good, it's a good blade. A little bit on the mild, moderate side of the sharp scale, but it's a good blade. So that's the blade of choice I'll be using. Soap and aftershave from Klaus Porto. This, I'm going to be using Musga Real Classic Scent. That's the after, that's the aftershave splash I'll be using along with. Let's see if I can get that. With the matching shave soap, which which I actually ordered off at RazorEmporium.com on their website, and I actually I was able to get twenty percent off both items. The, this the soap and the aftershave have a very fresh scent to them, very refreshing. The scent notes to the scent notes to Musgo Real Classic scent are as follows: top notes are patchouli, neroli, and bergamot; mid notes are lavender, violet, and wood. Base notes are vetiver and musk. This soap and aftershave set was a gift given to me by my mother for Father's Day. And I looked up on Razor Poems website and the soap in the bowl with the soap with the stainless steel bowl for 4.4 ounces will run you $50. The aftershave for 3.4 ounces runs $55. For brush of choice, and this is a rarity because I'm actually using a badger brush this time. The Simpsons Chubby 3 Super Badger. I've had this for a while now. I've been waiting and waiting to do a video using this. I've used it a few times. It's an excellent brush. The more I use it, the softer the bristles are getting. And it's just a luxury. If you're in, and actually I found this on Amazon from a reputable seller who was selling it for way below market value. Like normally a Super Badger Chubby 3 will run in in the field of three hundred plus dollars, I got this for like two hundred dollars on Amazon from a, again from a reputable seller who knew what they had, but was trying to made it trying to get rid of this inventory whatever. So that's the brush I'll be using. Now the the big star of the show is this the Gillette or nine the nineteen thirty four Gillette Aristocrat. The 1934 Gillette Aristocrat was, was Gillette's first entry into the single piece or TTO, that is twist to open razor. That, so this is the very first twist to open Gillette razor ever made. Or first model Gillette ever made. That's a twist to open. And look at, look at that shine. Look at that. It's been, I bought it off of eBay from a seller who originally wanted 450 I got it for 250 at a negotiated price where I asked where I offered them two fifty and they accepted the offer. And I and it is a beautifully crafted razor. It came with the case, a leather case with a gold plated blade bank. And I will say this the 34 aristocrat is fairly aggressive. And that's why I'm using a Wilkinson sword blade today, is because it I have a shade with it twice. It's a very efficient, somewhat aggressive razor. For the, if you're curious, and it is a, it, for some, it's a holy grail razor because it was the first twist to open razor Gillette manufactured in their lifetime. Because before that, all other Gillette razors, sorry about that, all other Gillette razors were three piece razors of some sort. So I'm gonna wet the face, get the lathering, and do the first pass with the grain. So, how's everybody doing out there today? Let me know in the comments. Having any good shaves? Let me hear it in the comments. And the Chubby 3 Super Badger from Simpsons, or Simpson Chubby 3 Super Badger, the knot diameter of this brush is anywhere, because they are handmade, the knot diameter of the Super Badger Chubby 3 ranges anywhere from 28 and a half to 29 millimeters. And it is a super densely packed brush with, with 
with some of the best Brett Bristles, Badger Bristles, Simpsons seems to, or sorry. And, Simpsons, and I think Super Badger is another name Simpsons used for Silver Tip. I could be wrong. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But this brush is just a, is a lather beast. I can, but then, that, then again, all, almost all my synthetic brushes are lather beasts. But this one really builds a ton of lather with its massive size. The loft is, I, I don't know what the loft is, but it's a big loft that spreads out over time as you use it. It's just an excellent brush. And I will say the Musica Royale Classic Sense Shave Soap has lanolin in it. So if you're a vegan or if you're sensitive to lanolin, this soap would not be for you. Just a beautiful, somebody say this is a dry lighter, but this works for me. And I think it's a pretty good ladder right there. And like I said, the Music Musica Royale Classic Scent Soap and Aftershave was a gift my mother bought for me on the on Razor Emporium for Father's Day. And I had a 20% discount coupon, so I saved quite a bit of money using the 20% discount code. Buying both the soap and aftershave. Got a nice lather going on. Let's rinse off our hands. Get some soap off our lip. And now we're going to shave with the first pass with the 1934 Gillette Aristocrat with the green. I'm, and I'm using very light pressure because, as I said, this is a very aggressive razor. Or fairly aggressive, I should say. But the scent of the soap is just phenomenal. It's a fresh, clean scent. That really draws compliments when I wear it. Especially the aftershave. It, it's just, it, Musica Royale classic scent is really good, easy going scent. And I'm really happy I was able to get this 34 Aristocrat at a, at a price I was comfortable with. Because as I said, the style originally won with, with the razor, with the leather case, and blade bank. So I won 450 I asked if I offered them 250 They took the offer. So I got it for a heck of a bargain. And the razor, when it came to my house, it looked like no one had ever used it before. Or, or as if they did use it, they barely used it at all. Like the gold plating is still heavily intact.
Uh, and a little bit, bit of history on this razor. When it debuted in Christmas time of 1934, the asking price was $4, which in today's money, $4 in 1934 would equate in today's money a little over $80. And you have to remember, during the Great Depression, during the 30s, very few people had the, that kind of money to throw around, even as a Christmas gift, to buy a luxury razor. And let's face it, it was back then a luxury razor. You know, being played in 24 karat gold, and being, at the time, brand new technology of twist open mechanism. I'm going just going to wet the face again for the second pass across the green. Okay, I'm gonna get a little more water on my brush. Give a little extra moisture in there. Doesn't hurt. A little bit of moisture at least. Oh yeah, now we're getting some good lather going on. Oh yeah. Fine lather. Look at that, look at that. Just, just beautiful lather from the soap and brush. And I did the right thing adding water to water because it made it made the lather more creamy. That's a good build of lather on my face. I'm going to rinse the face, and I'm sorry, rinse my hands. Correction, rinse my hands. Get some lather off my lips so I don't cut my lips. But yeah, the razor is an excellent razor, and if if you can find one and get it, and, and if you're able to negotiate a better price, I will admit the 34 Aristocrat is a rarity. According to Matt Pisarsic of Razor Emporium, he says for the razor by itself would easily be a three, three and a half out of five, where one you can find it anytime you go to an antique shop, five it belongs in a museum, as he says. Throw in the throw in the case it came in. And the blade bank, you can, I could easily see this being a four, four and a half out of five. I, think, I don't have the cardboard box that this was packaged in. If the part, if I had the cardboard in, insert or the cardboard box that this came with, along with instructions that this razor used to come with, oh heck yes, that would be a five out of five. But so far, the machine's going very good. Very good shave.
And for those wondering how much stubble I started off with, I had a day's worth of stubble to start with today. It's just a great shave today, right now. I'll admit, my first shave with the 34 Aristocrat, I had a Gillette Nassib blade in it. And it was a kind of a rough shave with that blade. I love, now, mind you, I love the Nassib blades by Gillette, but maybe the combination of this razor and that blade was not a good combination for me. That finishes the second pass across the grain. And, we're, and I'm going to do one more pass against this. This third pass that I'll do will be against the grain. But very lightly. Because there's hardly any stubble left right now. But I feel some. So it's a good idea just to do a light third pass. Very light third pass against the green. And I've heard this brush, the Simpsons Chubby 3 Super Badger. I've heard that this Chubby 3 in all its various forms are lather hogs. And I can agree to that. And I can attest to that that these are lather hogs. That I would recommend using them with a hard soap or a triple milled soap. Let's get a little more lather on the brush. This soap is very slick, very cushiony. It's a good soap. Price, yeah, I'll admit, with for the soap with the stainless steel bowl, it's gonna run you fifty dollars on Razor Emporium. Maybe other sites will sell it cheaper, I'm not sure. Or if you live in the Portugal where this is sold, this, is much, and this may be much cheaper, but it is a good product, a very good product. Again, some would say this is a thin lather, but you don't need a super dense lather, but I'm not going for a super dense lather for my final pass. Just a lather that works for me. Dry my hands off. Time for the third and final pass against the grain. Very good shape so far.
few minor cuts in here and there, but nothing too terrible. And I'm still learning this phrase what blades work well for it. That finishes the shave part. I'm going to use my stupid pencil to stop some bleeding here. And then I'm going to splash on the Muse Go. The, I'm going to splash on the Claus Porto Muse Go Real Classic Scent after shave. I got my use my stupid pencil, gonna rinse off the face, dry it off with some cold water. Excellent shave. I feel it was an excellent shave at least. They look like smooth all around. I guess there was some mix there, but I'm learning this razor little by little. What blades work for it, what techniques I need to use. But this is a great shave. This was a great, great shave. This is just a good shave all around. Now to splash on some Use Go Real Aftershave Splash Classic Scent. I always like to shake up my aftershaves to get all the essential oils and ingredients mixed in nicely. Now we're gonna splash it on. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. Love that burn. Live the burn, love the burn. The burn tells you it's working. Well, everybody, that ends today's video. I wish you all have a good day and a good shave, everyone. Goodbye.